History has it that the domestication of dogs began more than 30,000 years ago, when human hunters and gatherers came into contact with wolves. Over time, these wolves changed psychologically and physically to become man's best friend. However, while most of these earlier dog breeds are gone and lost in history, others have stood the test of time and lasted thousands of years. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Forever Green. Today, we're going to reveal to you 20 of the most ancient dog breeds in the world and how they have changed over time. Let's dive in. Number 20, Saluki. Standing at a height of 23 to 28 inches at the shoulder, the Saluki is a profound, elegant hunter and literally chases anything that is moving. Salukis are listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's oldest dog breed and are believed to have originated in ancient Egypt around 329 BC, with speeds that clock at 30 to 35 miles per hour, Salukis were bred by the Egyptian nomads for hunting hare, gazelles, wild goats, raccoons, foxes, snakes, and typically anything that moved in the desert. Today, the modern Saluki has longer legs and is quite deep-chested as compared to their ancient relatives. They still exist as pure breeds and their speed is still unmatched as in 1996. The Guinness Book of Records listed Saluki as being the fastest dog breed capable of attaining speeds of 42.8 miles per hour. The first Saluki into England was documented in 1840. Number 19, Pekingese. If there are dogs that shout royalty, then the Pekingese is undoubtedly among them. This breed of flat-faced and pear-shaped toy dogs was bred in the ancient China during the Han Dynasty as early as 202 BC. They were only seen in the Imperial Palace at Peking and are believed to have the courage and independence of a lion hence dubbed as the Lion Dog. They were bred by the royalties in Imperial China to act as personal guard dogs. Some were too small and ferocious and were able to fit into the sleeves of the emperors. If the emperors felt threatened, they would release the small lion dog to scare away thieves and enemies. Today, the Pekingese have retained their ferocity and are aggressive and protective as before. However, they are a bit different in physique as they have longer hair and shorter face and legs compared to the ancient ones. They were introduced into Europe in 1860 when English forces looted the imperial palace at Peking, Beijing. Number 18, Shiba Inu. The Shiba Inu is the official national dog of Japan since its declaration as a national paragon back in 1936. Primitive drawings from the Paleolithic era of 300 BC depict the Shibo Inu living with humans, making them one of the oldest dog breeds in the world. Although they are small in size, the Shibu Inu have well-developed muscles portraying a compact frame. In ancient times, they were used to hunt wild boars and small game due to their agility and speed. Despite their near-extinction fate during the World War II, the Shibu Inu has fought the test of time and maintained the same physique and agility. The first Shibu Inu to cross into Europe from Japan was documented in 1954 and is said to have been imported by a military family. Number 17. Chinese Sharpe. Originating from Guangdong, China, the Chinese Sharpe is believed to have been around as far back as from 202 BC. 
Renowned for their excessively wrinkled skin, the Sharpei were used for dogfighting and small game hunting. Their loose, wrinkled skin was beneficial and came in handy when it came to fighting as they were difficult to grab onto. In the 20th century, during the Communist Revolution in China, the political crisis brought the breed to its near extinction. The breed received recognition in 1978 from the Guinness Book of Records as the world's rarest dog breed with only 60 of them remaining. This resulting publicity led to a great demand for the breed birthing the crossbreeding of the Chinese Sharpei in order to meet the demand. The first Chinese Sharpei into the United States is believed to have been smuggled in the 1970s, but as of today there is no known purebred Chinese Sharpei and what exists are the resulting crossbreeds of the purebred together with the Bull Terrier and the Bulldog. This crossbreeding led to a dog with more wrinkles and a fleshier mouth than the purebred. Number 16. Chow Chow There exists a Chinese legend that talks about large war dogs from the Central Arctic Asia that resembled lions. With an extremely dense fur around the neck, the Chow Chow give an appearance of a lion. It is believed that they were bred around 150 to 200 BC as guard dogs, pointers, retrievers, and sled dogs in the cold parts of China. Additionally, the Chow Chow was also bred for human consumption, with their name having been derived from the Chinese word Chow, which means edible. The Chow Chow have a black or blue tongue, a distinctive characteristic which they share only with the Sharpei. Today, this puffy lion dog is used as a house pet. The first set of these edible dogs from China to arrive into Europe is believed to be in 1820, when an English newspaper reported the arrival of a dog with a blue-black tongue from China. Number 15. Alaskan Malamute The Alaskan Malamute got its name from Intuit people, specifically the Malamute who occupied the northwestern part of Alaska. The breed was originally in Siberia, before migrating to Alaska and has been in existence since 1000 BC. Due to their endurance, they were originally in pulling sleds and are considered the largest Arctic sled dog breed. They also made good hunting dogs and were used in hunting big game such as seals. They were also in protecting the community from polar bears. To this day, they still have a high prey drive and will mostly go after cats, rabbits, and squirrels. The Alaskan Malamute are however considered poor watchdogs due to their friendly nature. They are presently kept as companions and are used in traveling, recreational sledge, and moving heavy objects. They possess similar traits with huskies. Number 14. Shih Tzu the Shih Tzu originate from China in the 800 BC and were prized and favorites of the China's royal that the Chinese refused to sell or give them away. Although their name means little lion, there is absolutely nothing terrifying or fierce about the Shih Tzu. Their coat and appearance is what engineered this name for they resemble mini lions. They were bred for companionship rather than a working dog and are well suited to country or city life. The first Shih Tzu into the West was in the 1930s. Number 13. Neapolitan Mastiff With its powerful and huge astounding physique, the Neapolitan Mastiff has been intimidating intruders since the ancient times of Roman Empire. It was bred in southern Italy, 
as a guard dog with artifacts dating as far back as 700 BC, depicting the Neapolitan Mastiff as war dogs who fought beside the gladiators. Their bestial looks and humongous frame would instill fear into their adversaries. <laughs> Today, the Neapolitan Mastiff is kept as a family guard dog and nothing has changed with its unique style as astounding as before. Its profuse folds and wrinkles, which are always hanging, coupled with its pendulous lips, make it look terrifying enough. Records show that the first Neapolitan into the United States was imported in 1973 by Jane Pampalone. Although it's rumored that its Italian immigrants have smuggled some dogs as early as the 1880s. Number 12. Tibetan Mastiff Although they are not considered true Mastiffs, the Tibetan Mastiff is still classified as the oldest Mastiff, also known as the Tibetan Bulldog. Tibetan Mastiffs have been in existence for more than 5,000 years. They are said to be descendants of war dogs of ancient Rome. They were originally used as guard dogs. They dedicated their lives in protecting the livestock and property of their owners, who were mainly nomads of Tibet. They were also used as watchdogs by the Tibetan monasteries. Their size and fierceness are quite similar to that of molasses. In the 20th century, they were introduced in Europe by the Prince of Wales, George. But due to their aggressive behavior, the breed has been banned in parts of France, US, Australia, and others. Number 11. Greyhound The Greyhound is depicted on inscriptions, graves, tomb paintings, and in temple drawings dating back to 6000 BC in the present-day Turkey. With their deep chest, slim bodies, and long, powerful legs, Greyhounds were bred for hunting both big and small game. Today, the Greyhound is used in the popular Greyhound racing sport as well as a family companion. Due to their high prey drive, Greyhounds were first introduced to North America in the mid-1800s, particularly to rid farms of an epidemic of jackrabbits. Number 10. Basinji For a very long time, Basinji has been known as the oldest dog breed. It originated from Central Africa, specifically the Congo Basin, and has been around since 6000 BC. It is believed to be the hunting dog in the cave paintings that were found in Libya. Not much has changed from the original breed. It was used as a hunting dog due to its sharp eyesight great sense of smell and high speed. It is often referred to as barkless dog due to the fact that it doesn't really bark. Instead, it yodels, growls, screams, or whines. It also lacks the distinct dog smell. It also exhibits cat-like behavior and especially when it comes to cleanliness and appearance as it keeps on grooming itself. The Basinjai brand was introduced in England as early as 1923, but unfortunately, most of the dogs would die until the 1930s. Number 9. Greenland Sled Dog as the name suggests, the Greenland sled dogs originated from Greenland. They are said to have been in existence since 7500 BC and were since used in pulling sleds. They were so good at running while pulling sleds in low oxygen environments. Their appearance is very similar to Huskies and Alaskan Malamute but genetically, they are more similar to Canadian Eskimo dogs to the point of being considered as the same breed. 
They are said to be among the few breeds that show no signs of interbreeding with the gray wolf. The Thule people migrated the Greenland sled dogs from Siberia to North America over 1,000 years ago. It was not until 1875 when the Greenland sled dog was first seen in Britain and then exhibited in dog shows. Number 8. Siberian Husky The story of the Siberian Husky begins with the Chukchi people of East Siberia about 10,000 years ago during the Ice Age period. The Chukchi people were hunters and gatherers in the Arctic and mainly relied on the Huskies to hunt for protection and to pull their sledges. The double-layered coat of the Huskies is capable of keeping warm even at temperatures as low as minus 50 to minus 60 degrees Celsius, making them a perfect fit for the Arctic. DNA studies have shown that the Siberian Husky is closely related to the Alaskan Malamute and the Talamer Wolf, a dog breed that is now extinct. The Husky does not bark but rather howls like a wolf. Today's Siberian Husky is more of a house pet dog rather than a working dog, but still have retained their high prey drive. They are intelligent dogs and are good with children. Records show that the first Siberian Husky into North America was during the fall of 1908. Number 7. Samoyed The Samoyed takes its name from the Samoyedi people of Siberia, who were its breeders over 3,000 years ago. The Samoyedis were nomads who herded reindeers and thus bred the Samoyed as a hunting dog, herding dog, as well as for hauling their sledges. Since they habited in the northern Arctic, the Samoyed had a dense double-layered coat which was mostly white in color. This coat helped them keep warm in the below zero degrees temperature of the Arctic. The first expedition to the South Pole was led by a Samoyed dog. Today, the Samoyed is used as a pet dog as it has evolved into a a more friendly dog to even visitors, making it a poor guard dog. They have earned the name Smiley Dog due to their happy facial expression. They make excellent companions for small children and remain playful through their lifetime. The first Samoyed to enter Europe was in the 1800s, and one was even gifted to Queen Alexandra, which helped increase the popularity of the breed. On to number 6, Tibetan Terrier. Like the Tibetan Mastiff, the Tibetan Terrier is also not considered as a true terrier. It is also referred to as the Holy Dog of Tibetan. This medium-sized dog originates from the remote Himalayan mountains and has been in existence for more than 2,000 years. For many centuries, this breed was widely used by the Tibetan monks for companionship, as watchdogs and even as good luck charms. The latter is the reason why these dogs were not up for sale or interbred for many years. During those times, you could only acquire a Tibetan terrier if someone gifted you one. These fun-loving dogs were also used in herding sheep along the narrow mountain passes and would gladly fetch things that fell on the mountain sides. The Tibetan Terrier is said to be an ancestor of the curly coat Puli. It first got to Europe in 1922 when Dr. Agnes Grieg was given a Tibetan Terrier after performing a successful operation on a Tibetan patient. Number 5. Japanese Chin These tiny, graceful lap dogs bear the name of Japan and they actually originate from China. They were bred and owned strictly for companionship as early as 600 AD. 
Ownership of the Japanese chin was only allowed to those of royal and noble bloods. During the 732 AD, Japanese royalty were gifted the breed by Korea rulers, and it's believed that this led to their publicity and hence their name being more of a Japanese than their origin. They were considered one of the cat-like dog breeds with reference to their attitude, independence, and use of paws to wash and clean their face. The first Japanese chin into America was in the mid-19th century and was gifted to the then-president Franklin Pierce. Number 4. Poodle Regal attitude, impressive hairdos, proud, elegant, clever, and blue ribbons are what truly defines the poodle. Poodles look like the epitome of a luxurious life, but make no mistake, they are the dogs that you can train to do literally anything thanks to their intelligence. In ancient times, poodles were used as water retrievers where they would jump into the water ponds to flush out and fetch waterfowls for hunters. They are believed to be the progenitors of the modern retriever dogs. Artistic works by various German artists, which date back as far as the 17th century, depict a dog resembling the poodle. Today, the poodle dogs are no longer working dogs, but rather used as companion dogs and also as circus performers and in dog competitions. They are capable of performing all manner of tricks, thanks to their intelligence and trainable nature. Number 3. Catahoula Leopard Dog The Catahoula Leopard Dog is one of the rarest and most ancient dog breeds in the world. The breed hails from wolf-like dogs of the Native Americans that were crossbred with herding dogs of the French settlers in Louisiana in the mid-1700s. This crossbreeding produced the Catahoula Leopard Dog, which was a better working dog. They were used for hunting large game as well as herding livestock. Today, the Catahoula is used as a search and rescue dog due to their natural and unique traits as a hunting dog. They are loyal companions and can be found in a few households as pets in guarding their masters. Their pets have patches of deeper or different colors from the main coat, color hence the name Leopard Dog. The 20th President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt, is said to have a Catahoula in the early 1900s when hunting. Number 2. Afghan Hound also known as Tazi, the Afghan hound dog breed is said to be originated from the deserts of Egypt, but its name suggests that they first existed in the mountains and deserts of Afghanistan. They were originally used as hunting dogs, and they would even go as far as hunting antelopes and leopards. These powerful dogs would grab their prey by the neck, thereby severing its spine. To date, they still exhibit a high prey drive. The Afghan hound is said to be closely related to Saluki and can be very independent and stubborn, hence very difficult to train. What's more interesting is that these dogs don't like petting. Unheard of, right? Well, they were introduced in England in the 1800s by British soldiers, who were drawn towards them. They were later exhibited in dogs under other names such as Persian Greyhound and Barazuki Hound, among others. Number 1. Exolotoitsky Kulinti Ceramic sculptures depicting a hairless dog breed have been discovered in burial sites in ancient West Mexico dating back as early as 3,500 years ago. The Exoloid Siculinti are among the oldest dog breeds in the world and were so sacred that the Aztec people of native Mexico worshipped it. 
Exolos were held in high esteem and were often sacrificed and then buried with their owners to act as soul guides in the underworld. The breed was also believed to have the capability to heal and it has been used in remote Mexico to cure and ward off ailments like toothache, asthma, and insomnia till today. They are hairless dogs and are today used for companionship and as therapy dogs. The first Exolo to cross the Mexican border into the U.S. was in the 1880s. And that's it for the 20 most ancient dog breeds in the world. So, which of the dogs do you think is the oldest? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you on the next one.